Hi, and thank you for watching this episode of Animals and Ames. My name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control Services. Uh, today I'm going to show you a few animals. Uh, the first one we have here is Buster. Buster actually was just recently returned to us. Um, he was adopted into a home and they had a smaller dog and Buster didn't care for the smaller dog too much so he'd probably be better in a home where he was the only dog um, or maybe a larger dog might work for him. Uh, we actually had him in a in a play group here at the shelter so we can get uh, work on his dog socialization skills and he was fine. He kind of preferred to be the only dog in the group um, and just kind of stayed away from the others but didn't show any kind of aggression. But he was surrendered because he was aggressive with the small dog. So definitely wanted, wants to be the only dog in the household or maybe a larger dog. Uh, he's about four years old. Um, we're saying that he's kind of maybe a Whippet uh, Beagle Mix uh, seems to be very friendly, one of the uh, favorites of the volunteers and uh, seems to do well, uh, wants to be an indoor dog of course. Uh, the winters are very cold here as you know and uh, he's got really short hair so he doesn't have much to protect him from the elements. So we want to find an indoor home here for Buster. Uh, he would much rather be with the people anyways. So come down and take a look at Buster today, he's a great dog. Okay, this is our second animal we're going to highlight today. This is Precia. She's uh, about a year old. Uh, came into us. She was surrendered by the owner. They didn't have any time for her, and the landlord would not allow cats. So she's here at the shelter. She's one of the longest residents in our cat population. Really sweet cat uh, on the smaller side. Um, seems to like other cats, um, but really um, just, you know, would be fine as a, as a single cat as well. Uh, definitely wants to be an indoor cat. Um, we know it's not safe for them to be outside. Um, but really relaxed. It takes a little bit to get relaxed in the environment that she's in, but she does calm down and, and works well. Um, she has uh, been introduced to a few other cats and she seemed to do okay. But again, would probably be best as a one cat home. Um, she's a spayed female, so she's ready to be adopted today. Um, just come down and visit us here at the Ames Animal Shelter and you can take a look at Precious. And here we have Othello. Othello is uh, about a three-year-old neuter male. He's a beautiful black and white tuxedo cat. Um, kind of a big guy. He uh, definitely uh, is not, uh, not small like Precious, like the last cat that you just saw on. Um, outgoing, seems to love other cats. He actually, we tried to set him up with Morticia, one of the other cats here at the shelter, and she didn't want to uh, be friends with Othello, but uh, he still tried his best to be friends. Uh, he is a neuter male, uh, so no worrying about some other kittens. Um, but really friendly cat, one of the shelter's favorites. Um, does a lot of talking. Um, he's a little shy right now with the camera, but uh, usually talks quite a bit um, and uh, <laughs> really gets to uh, gets to talk to the volunteers that uh, enjoy working with them. But um, He's just going to go off and have his own fun here. So I thought it was a great cat. Uh, come down and consider adopting him. He is neutered, ready to go. Um, and like I said, if you spend more time with him, you'll really get to know Othello and you think he's a great cat. And this is JC. Uh, JC came in to us as a stray, um, actually on November 23rd, and the owners haven't come forward at this point beautiful chocolate point Siamese um, in, in typical Siamese fashion uh, JC likes to talk a lot um, volunteers really like him he is an older cat uh, so he might uh, might be do best in a home with not a lot of small children but maybe some older adults um, seems to want to sit in your lap a lot um, but just kind of calm um, really not uh, too active Let's spend time uh, sitting in front of the fire, especially here for the Iowa winters. Seems to like other cats, uh, so may also do well in a home with another cat, um, but probably not a kitten. Um, and, and there's the Siamese for you. Um, but uh, beautiful markings, that chocolate point, uh, Siamese, 
and he's also going down for a walk. So come down and take a look at JC, he's a great cat. And this is Fred. Fred is a gray tabby kitten, only about four months old. Um, Fred's really scared today. Today he was just surrendered by his owner. Um, they were no longer able to care for the mother um, and the other siblings. So we have Fred, Barney, and uh, the mom here. They're all looking for homes. Um, the owner couldn't keep it. They were moving um, and also had issues with the landlord. So it's really important to make sure that if you're renting that your landlord allows pets before you take a pet into your home. Um, we do want to encourage a lifetime commitment. Um, and as you can see here that, you know, Fred is just really having a hard time adjusting to this environment and he's going to make a great cat for somebody, but uh, he does need a few days to, uh, to adjust here. Um, but just really sweet. The mom is also a very sweet cat. She's solid black. And Barney, the uh, brother here to Fred, um, is also the same coloring. They're very challenging to, to find uh, the differences between the two. But, um, you know, again, great kittens. Um, they make a great uh, a pet for a family. Um, just need a few days to calm down and adjust to this environment. So come on down to the shelter and look at all three of them. They're, they're going to be uh, great family pets. Great. Thank you for watching the show today. We uh, just want you to know that that's just a sampling of all the animals that we have here available for adoption at the Ames Animal Shelter. There's lots of other pets here for you to see, uh, lots of dogs, lots of cats. Um, please come down and consider adopting one. Um, get, let's get them in the homes for the holidays. Um, also want to give out a reminder that please remember to keep identification on your pets. That's the easiest way for us to get them back to you. Uh, collars are not always the best form of identification. They easily come off or people take them off, but you want to make sure that your pet has a microchip as well. Contact your local veterinary office for microchips. Um, every animal that comes in here to the shelter is scanned for a microchip, so if it has a microchip, we can get it back to you sooner and they won't have to spend as much time here in the shelter. Thank you.